Okay, so this is week three, assignment one video. I'm going to go over some basic commands, shortcuts, tricks in Windows uh, because that's what I have. And I know that some of you guys are on Chromebooks and some of you are on tablets and some are on Macs, etc. But if we were in class, this is what we would be going over. And um, it's just a good overview. You will not have to do any kind of assignment that goes along with this. This is more for informational purposes so that it can, so that you can be more organized, which will hopefully lead to you being more successful as an e-learner. So the first thing we're going to talk about is down here in the left corner is the start. When you click on the start, there's a couple things that come up. Basically, I think most people know this because you can go in and you can um, turn things, you can shut it down, you can log out, uh, that type of stuff. So that's the cool thing about the start. But the other thing is, is that these are all of the programs that are installed on that computer. Depending on whose computer you have, it might be something totally different. You can also go over here and you can put in little icons that you could click easily to go and open up a uh, application. So if I click on it, it brings up whatever application. There's another way that you can do that, and that's down here. Do you see here across the bottom on this bottom task bar? This is called a task bar. And you can see how I have all of these icons, and they're kind of just staying there. So what happens is, is if you go over here, oops, wrong one, sorry. If you go over here and um, I want to put, let's see, what do we want to put? We'll put, Google Chrome's already there. We'll go to Maps. Um, if I open up Maps, do you see how it became over here? It has an icon. If I close Maps, it goes away. Well, if I want it to stay, because you can tell what's open and what's closed by these the line that's underneath. Do you see this line under Chrome and under, this is for my um, screen recording? That means that they're open. Everything else is closed, but the icon is still there. Well, to get the icon to stay there, what you need to do is, when, when it is open, you need to right-click on top of it and go Pin to Taskbar. So now, if I close it, it will stay here. If for some reason you don't want it anymore, all you have to do is right-click and unpin it, and it will go away. So that is another way. So there are two different ways that you can easily um, get to your applications. Over here, this is a search bar. I can search for a, um, I can search for an app. I can search for a document. I can search on the web if I wanted to. I don't think it's the easiest, but um, you can also search photos if you have them named, etc. But this. This is where, when you say, Dr. Gerald, I can't find my last assignment. I know I did it, but I can't find it. This is the first place that I go to look. I can go and I can, if I go to documents, I can put them in, alpha, in order. Um, I can change them to a whole bunch of different things. So this is where I go if I'm searching for something. So if you lose something, try going down here. Um, across the bottom over here, these are icons. These are little thumbnails of applications that are running in the background. So if you have a school computer, like if you were at school and we were having this, I would tell you that everybody has this little security thing and all of ours has Adobe Creative Cloud, Teams, uh, this one is for me, this is my printing budget, 
So um, each one of these is that's what that's for. Then if you go to these next ones, this one uh, is for OneDrive, which is where we're going to be working today. This one is um, for my my screen. This one is your battery, your internet your sound, and then you have your date. Over here, this is for notifications. You guys probably won't use this. Um, I don't use it within the classroom, but um, just so if you have it at home, you know what we're talking about. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of go over a little bit of Windows now that we're um, heading into week three. So as you can see, I'm in Google Chrome and I am on um, my SSO and I have this open. Okay, so before I, I wanna show you one more tip or trick, it's not going to be any kind of assignment, but if you go into Schoology and you go to courses, if you go over here to where it says my courses, you can click on it and then you can reorder your courses. So if you wanted to put them in a different um, order, you could just sit and drag them and put them in whatever order you want. And then when you close it, it would be in that order when you go back to your courses tab. All right, so there's your tips and tricks for the week. Now, we're gonna go back here to the SSO. And what we're working on this week is we need to start setting up an organization. Because if you spend a lot of time looking for something, redoing something, um, it's it makes you frustrated and you're not very productive. So I, if you get into the habit of putting things where they should be, then it will make you a more productive learner. So what we're going to do is um, the district provides Office 365 for us. Office 365 is made by Microsoft, which everybody knows is Bill Gates. And it is a bunch of applications that do different things. So I want you to go here and I want you to click on it. And um, if it asks you this, you can say yes or no. It does not matter um, to me which way you do it. So if you, once you go here, you on this left-hand side, you will see all of these different icons. You should see, and I don't know that yours is in the same order that mine is, but you should see one that looks like a cloud. OneDrive is Microsoft's version of the cloud. So you're not saving your work on your computer, you're saving it in the cloud. So if you were on the road, you can get to it. If you were in an airport, you could get to it. If your computer dies and you have to switch it out, you can still get to it because it wasn't living on the computer. So we're gonna go to OneDrive. And OneDrive has a bunch of different things that you can do. Over here, you just, for right now, we're just going to worry about my files. And then if you go over here to the right-hand side, you can sort by name or file. You can um, have a smaller list, or you can have tiles, which is what we use in everything else. So um, this is just for you. This is what kind of learner you are. There is no right or wrong. And I'm not going to, um, this does not have to be a screenshot or anything like that. So I'm going to go back to the one that I like, which is the list. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder. So we're going to click up here. You should have new upload sync automate. So you're going to go to new folder and we are going to type in intro to computer apps. 
All right, and then we're going to hit create. So now you can see you have that. If you click right on top of it, you see how you get the line. You're going to click on top of it and it, there's nothing inside here. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple folders so that when you have to save things, um, which in, a, in the coming weeks, I'll show you how to upload and so on to it. But for right now, this is just the organization part of it. So we're going to go to new folder again and we're going to put quarter one. Then we're going to do new folder again, and we're going to put images. So this is if we ever f have to go and find a picture or something like that. And then in Oh, nope, sorry, that was the wrong way. Um, so in here, okay. And so this is as far as I need you to go for today. So now we need to make a screenshot of this. A lot of you have done it. You did it last week as part of um, assignment one, which was awesome, which was not what I needed you to do, but you did it and you got full credit and that's awesome. But for the people who don't know how to take a screenshot, the easiest way to take a screenshot is if you go either to the start or you go to the search and you type in the word snip. It comes up and it says snipping tool. Do you see what it, it looks like? You've got a pair of scissors. So you click on it and it will show up with a box like this and we're going to say new so we're going to sit say new and when I do that you see how my screen gray uh, gets all white and grayed out so whatever I take and click hold and drag it makes a picture of it all I need is make sure that I can see it says files intro to comp apps and then images and quarter one this is all i need you to do okay so to be able to submit it you have to save it so we're going to go over here and we're going to go to file save as and for right now we're going to put it on our desktop please don't remove it because next week when we have to upload to our images folder, then you'll have a picture on your desktop, okay? Um, if it, we were in class, this would be a lot smoother, but I'm trying to space out what we're learning so that it's not all one thing at one time, um, because I want you to be successful in all of your classes. So we're just going to go to desktop and we're going to call it files. So now we can hit save. Once you've done that, you can close this. Now, just a couple things. One, if you make a mistake, you let go too soon. All you have to do is close this and it says, do you want to save it? No. And you can do it again. So then I could do it the right way. Okay. So you have as many chances as you want to do this. If you are a Mac or a Chromebook, there is a way to do this. And I will publish a, or I will post a video from YouTube that you could watch if you're specifically um, working on a Chromebook or a Mac. If you are on something else and you need help, you will have to, um, contact me directly. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to go back up here to our tab and we're going to go to our SSO, our single sign-on, and we're going to go back to Schoology. We're going to go to courses and we're going to go to week three and assignment one 
and assignment one.